Hey, what's going on, Adam? So let's take a look at your store. So the same thing, I was looking the same thing for Wade that he was doing. Um, I will suggest that you have a pop-up come up here within 10 seconds of me being in your store, giving me some type of giveaway, some type of um, like a bait for you to get my contact information so you can follow up with me. I don't know if you saw the video that I did for him in here, but in case you didn't, all it is is, so this is your storefront, right? And then as soon as somebody comes in, whether it is from paid ads or organic, you want within 10 seconds a pop-up to come up and say, hey, you know, get 10% off in exchange for your your email address and you joining in our newsletter. So what this does is if it's costing you 10 bucks per lead to get people into your store, uh, let's say uh, that you sold $100 worth of merch that one day, um, this is not a one-time sale that you can follow up with these people, uh, with your new customers through new automated newsletters, which provide them with new coupons, with special merch that, merch that is just made for them, um, with events that is going on with your brand, with different things that can send them either back to your uh, homepage or what's even better, you can see uh, what exactly these people are buying. So in this case, let's say they're only buying t-shirts that are uh, Nike related. I saw that you have it in your store. So you can send them out, the people that get tagged with the Nike uh, t-shirts that they're only buying, you can send them out to a different sales page that is only available for people that are only buying t-shirts that are made for Nike, uh, that are made with the Nike logo, right? So they're not interested in, uh, let's see what else you have going on in there. So they, let's say they're not interested in this owl t-shirts, they're only interested in Nike, for example. You're only sending them here, but you cannot do that unless you collect their email address. So a good strategy is to give them something off, give them 10% off. Um, <clears throat> that is the best way to do it with e-commerce. Uh, informational products is a different strategy, but just give them a, a, a discount. You can do two pop-ups, one for when people just come into your store, and the second one will be when people try to exit out of your store. So uh, you can set this up easily. Uh, I'm not going to go into it because it's more of the mechanics of a store, but uh, when somebody comes in and goes towards the click on the X and exit out, a, a new pop-up will come in here. Hey, before you go, uh, and you might be busy, take 10% off for the next time you visit us. But now you collected their email address, you can follow up with them, you know, two days later and remind them that they have a discount code to come into your store. Um, a great thing that you have in here that I'm seeing is, is this little um, uh, verify, verified little notifications. It just gives you social proof, which is a great strategy that you're doing in here. Um, and another thing, let's see, I think you are already collecting a pixel. For people that are coming in here so page view yeah so you're right you're already putting cookies uh on my on my visit so you can retarget me uh, uh i'm pretty sure you you might be doing that right now uh you mentioned that you open up your instagram um that's awesome there's a thousand different ways that you can promote your store uh, you don't need to do them whenever i talk to my clients i always tell them to master one source it doesn't really matter what it is facebook youtube instagram um, there's more than enough people on each platform to fuel your business uh just uh whatever you do don't spread yourself thin uh if you know if you if you're getting a lot of people coming out of facebook like you mentioned coming out of uh, the groups coming out of uh, your ads you know stick to that and then you know you can grow of course later on on instagram uh just uh, i always tell my clients if you're just starting out don't uh, don't spread yourself thin on this. You already have results coming into your store. Um, another thing that I will suggest, get rid of this power by Shopify. You don't want to have that in there. Um, <clears throat> uh, and another thing that I saw, you have a Facebook button in here, which is great. You want to make it as small all the way at the bottom, just the way that you have it in here because uh, you paid a lot of money outside of your store to get people in here. The last thing you want is a big Facebook button that you know, sends them out of your store. Uh, one thing that I will suggest is whenever I click on this, it takes me out of your store. You saw it. 
So if you want to have any type of uh, social media icons or logos in here, make sure that it opens up on a separate tab, on a separate window, the way that I did right there. So I had to hold the control button on my computer to do that. Um, you can easily do this as well. Just make sure that it opens up on a separate window so your store stay, uh, stays there even though people exit out for some reason. <clears throat> you know. Um, what else? Uh, no, I, and I like it. Um, you do have some space in here that uh, is empty space that is eating out. You could always move this guys up. Uh, let me see. Uh, I see control shift S. No, that's not what I want. Sorry, uh, I'm trying to open up. Uh, you know what we can do? So I'm gonna show you something real quick screen so let me take a quick screenshot of this so this is your store and a couple things that you can do is uh, where my pen so take this guy and take all your 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 items and just move him up and then I like how you have this this banner in here letting them know what's going on but you can always have an, an additional banner in here right and telling them off you know first time purchases 10% off uh, you can always say if you have any other discounts like summer sale, summer sale, um, buy uh, the clearance items, um, you know, a, a banner in here that entices them to get something else. Um, I'm, I'm not sure how this uh, this font is doing for you. Um, if you get a chance, there's this thing called split testing and then you can test different layouts. Uh, like this is more of the... Um, uh, what do you call the the block font? It's easy to read than this guy. So if you if you utilize more block fonts, uh, you know it's a little easy to read. What you can do is you can set up two different pages, and let's say this is your ad that you're running, let's say on Facebook, and fifty percent of people will get will get sent to your page in here, and the other fifty percent of people get sent to another page where your font is different that you can test let's say just for this example that i'm I'm picking on your font um, you can you can have a little bit something more legible and then you can see the results of which one are people staying longer, which one are people purchasing more, which one are people clicking you can also get another thing called a click uh, a click map. And it, all it is is, is, is a, a, a heat map and lets, be, and lets you know exactly where people are clicking. Uh, let's say this one is converting a lot more than this one. And this one is converting. Uh, let, let's say, okay. So let's say this guy and this guy are converting the most and nobody's clicking in here. Then you can, you know, get rid of this two guys and then put in, test out another different product in here. Uh, so there's different things, but whenever you're doing this A, B type of testing, make sure that you're only testing one thing at a time. So let's say this week, we're just going to test, uh, the top font and then we're going to send a hundred people in here from Facebook. We bought Facebook ads, it's costing $10 times a hundred. So you got 10,000 people in there. And then, uh, you know, after that you get the results and you see which one works the best and then you adjust accordingly. Um, so then the same thing, uh, you can test out your layouts in here and then adjust accordingly. Um, and yeah, so like I said, you, you have a lot of space in here that is empty, empty. Uh, I will suggest you move it up so you get more of your products up there. Let me see. Let me close this guy and go back. Um, and yeah, and this guy, you can always say, uh, not just subscribe to a newsletter, but you can entice people to subscribe if you do uh, be a little more specific, right? So put in um, subscribe to receive, uh, you know, our special sales for apparels that is coming up in August. Right now we're in July, so 2019. August 2019, our special sales start going on discount. Um, so, yeah, that's about that and uh, whatever you're doing on your facebook page let me let me take a look at your facebook page real quick actually i like have you have your brand in here uh make sure you put in the link to your company in here in the description um and something enticing them to come out and purchase from you uh there's a great book that 
I would recommend if you're looking for copywriting. It's called Words That Sell. They have it on Amazon. It was like 15 bucks. Uh, it's a fantastic book that, that tells you call to actions if you want to take a look at it. And then you can utilize it in here uh, to get people to go into your store. Your picture in here as well. You can put it the link to your store. Uh, maybe you can put in a call to action in here letting them know what the store is about. Your picture doesn't tell me anything uh, other than is a patriotic American picture. Um, you, you know, if, if maybe if you have some merch in here, let them know about discount that is going through only your customers that are joining your Facebook group. Um, let's see. And yeah. And you can always do giveaways. Uh, uh, I saw Wade on the other video that I did he was doing that in here you can do a giveaway to maybe an influencer here on facebook or on youtube um or to your to your uh, the people in your group um you can always uh send them free merch in exchange for them giving you a shout out um and and, and be, having you uh being featured on their facebook page or on their instagram page uh it's a great way you know with of course with your link on the shout out and then that's a great way to get some more organic type of traffic in there. Um, and and yeah, no, keep going at it. Um, I like where you do it. Um, like I said, I'm nitpicking. Um, I'm, uh, I always like to nitpick, uh, letting you know my honest opinion. If you have any other questions, you know, I'll, I'll be more than happy to help. So best of luck, Adam. Take care.